In this video, we will be talking about how to diagnose car endometriosis. Car endometriosis is a very painful condition. There are two very important uh, uh, clues or uh, things to do to diagnose uh, scar endometriosis. One is having a very high degree of suspicion when the patient complains about pain during her period. So there is a specific things which you need to know, like when does the pain start, how long does it persist, and where is it, and how it radiates. That gives us an immense uh, clue as to whether uh, it is a normal pain during periods or there is anything in relation to other than uh, scar endometriosis. Scar endometriosis has a very typical history of pain. One, it generally starts one or two years after a uh, previous cesarean or a hysterotomy surgery. And <clears throat> it's a progressive kind of a pain. Generally, the pain starts few days before the periods, persists during the periods and also continues after period. So this is a very, very particular or a typical history <coughs> which we need to elicit. And the uh, uh, next part is the diagnosis. How do we you know, uh, corroborate or uh, come to this diagnosis? No CT scan, no MRI, no PET scan, nothing is needed. Generally, this is what happens when patient goes to a clinician the first thing when you say, oh, okay, I'm not able to get a uh, diagnosis by scan, so I straight away go to uh, you know, MRI or CT or any other higher modalities and ultimately come back and say, oh, we are not able to find the reason for pain. Ultrasound actually, when you have a suspicion of scar endometriosis, ultrasound can give you 100% diagnosis whether scar endometriosis is there or not there. But you need to be skilled enough to know what kind of a setting or what kind of a probes to be used. Surface probe has high frequency and will be able to detect anything just below the skin or up to the rectus muscle. As we know that the scar endometriosis is usually located either on the rectus sheath or on the rectus muscle. Usually just below the rectus sheath and in the muscle. So it's an entrapment which we will generally get. This is one such condition as we can see this is the skin. Then you can clearly see this lesion which is around 15 into 6 mm as small as a small peanut and this can cause so much of a havoc in the patient's personal life. <coughs> Surface probe can pick up this, need to spend some time on the patient and most of the time we find this diagnosis. Once we find this, it is easier to treat and probably even uh, reach to the uh, conclusion. So dear friends, two things which are very important to diagnose scar endometriosis. One is high degree of suspicion and next is a nice ultrasound machine and a very good surface probe to pick up the lesion.